All right then, so we've got our site up and running and we can see it in a browser, we can preview that. The next step is to work with Netlify Identity. So install a package into our project and then hook it up with Netlify for that to work. So before we do that, I just wanted to point out one thing. In the starter site, I made an error on this import right here. It shouldn't be a capital L for link. It should be lowercase when we import it and then just uppercase when we use the component. That was in the nav bar. Now I've updated the starter files. So when you use them, you shouldn't see this. Don't worry about that. I just wanted to point it out because I did show you this component as well in the last lecture. Anyway, now we've done that, let's install the Netlify identity package in this project for it to work. So the way we do that is using npm, and I'm gonna do that in a terminal down below. So npm install, then it's netlify-identity-widget. So just press enter to install this package. All right then, so now we've installed that package, the next thing we need to do is enable the identity service for our project on Netlify. Now, that's quite hard to do at the minute because we've not yet deployed this site to Netlify. It doesn't exist on Netlify yet. So that's what we need to do first of all. And to do this, we're gonna be using continuous deployment with GitHub. Now, if you know nothing about GitHub or Git at this point, it would be a good time to maybe go and check out my tutorial series all about Git and GitHub. The link to that is gonna be down below in the video description, then come back. Otherwise, a lot of this stuff might go over your head. So the first step is to create a GitHub repository. So head to GitHub and create a new repository. I'm gonna call this gaming-vibes. And then down here, this can be public or private, it really doesn't matter. And then click on create repository. So it's gonna create this repo for us. Then next we need to grab this line down here so we can set the origin of our local repository. So to do that, I'm gonna open up the terminal and I'm gonna paste this in. So git remote add origin, then the repo we just created. Press enter to add this. And then once we've done that, I'm gonna say git status, just to check that we're on the main branch, which we are. Then I'm gonna say git add, just to add that little change I made to the nav bar a minute ago. So git add, and then I'm gonna say git commit, and then a message, and this message is gonna be initial commit like so, press enter, and then I'm gonna push it up to the main branch, so origin main like so. So once we've done that, hopefully, over here, if we refresh now, we should be able to see that project, which we can. Awesome, so we have this project on GitHub. Now the next step is to allow Netlify to bring this in and deploy this site for us. So in order to do that, first of all, head to netlify.com and sign up for a free account. Once you've done that, you're gonna to go to your dashboard and from here, click on sites. So we wanna create a new site from Git, so click on that button and then click on the GitHub button down here. Now the first time you do this, it's going to ask you to allow Netlify access to your GitHub account. Just give it access. I've already done that. And then down here, it's going to list all of your repos. Search for the one you just created. I called it Gaming Vibes, so I'll search for gaming and then click on this repo. Now make sure this is set to main. That means that it's going to take the main branch from our repo, build that project and deploy it. Down here you can keep the build command the same and the publish directory the same. Just click on deploy site. Now if this is the first time you're deploying this next application, you might get a build error down here, but if you do, it's probably because the plugins over here doesn't have essential next.js installed. This is required on Netlify for any next.js project. Now, automatically it should install this plugin, but if it doesn't, just click on this button right here, search for the plugin and click on the button to install it, then try deploying again by going to deploys and trigger deploy and deploy site right here. But hopefully it should work straight off. All right, cool, so we can see that mine's published, so everything's worked, and I'm gonna now go to identity. This is where we enable identity for this site, so just click on this right here, enabling identity, and now if we go to settings and usage, you can see all of the different settings for your identity service. So how people register, the different external providers you can use, etc. Now, we will be looking at a lot of these settings in the future, but for now we can leave everything as is. So now, 
we have the identity package installed on the front end and we also have identity enabled on our project right here where we deployed it. So now in the next video, what we're going to do is start to use the identity package in our project so it can communicate with Netlify in order to authenticate users. All right. But before we do that, I want to do one more thing. I want to go to site overview and then site settings. And I just want to change the site name right here. So click on this button and I'm going to call it gaming hyphen vibes like so. And I'm going to save that. Let's see if it works. Yep, that's available. Cool. So now if we go to site overview, we can see this is the URL for our site. If I click on this, we should see now this project deployed on Netlify at this web address. I can go to guides, that works, home, that works, awesome. 